Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to the channel as the case may be. Today we are up to number 50 out of our 1001 tarot spreads. This one is called the Star Spread. It's a five card spread, let's get into it. This spread is for when you want a little guidance on how to put your best foot forward to show that you are a rising star in either a business area or a creative sense. Whether this is because you are trying to pitch yourself for a raise or pitch a new product or a creative endeavor that you are trying to drum up support for. <clears throat> Card number one is what should be your goal? What should be the primary focus of presenting yourself forward? Whether it's the project, the product, or yourself looking for the promotion. Card number two is how can you attract the attention of the people who are most able to help you achieve that goal? Card number three is how do we push that momentum forward? Card number four is what is going to be the standout detail? What what is your pitch going to be about? What is the selling point? And card number five is what's the dark horse? What is the thing that could take you by surprise if you weren't aware of it? So we're going to go ahead and shuffle up the cards and see what it has to tell us. We are using the Darkwood Tarot for this. It is a kind of heavily uh, feminine, gothic-inspired gothic deck. I wonder if you can hear them outside. Um, got an owl that's making some noise outside at the moment. Kind of late in the morning for that, but I mean, to each your own. Okay, so card number one is the top point in the star. Let's actually make sure it's on camera though. Card number two is going around um, clockwise, three, four, and five. To, to keep them all on screen, I um, don't have the best lineup. There we go. That works. I had to kind of compress the star so that it all, all fits on my second camera. Card number one, the Knight of Cups. So what is the goal? Knights are about changes. They are about movement. In this case, being a Knight of Cups, this is about emotion. If we look at the image, we see that he is standing above a picnic, a place of rest. But behind him, we see a waterfall where there is movement. There is energy. Just like we can harness the energy of water in a hydraulic dam, you need to harness the energy of this moment. You have taken the time to rest and gather, so the goal is to turn that feeling of peace, that restful moment, harness it into some form of energy. Get some momentum out of the environment you find yourself in. Card number two, how to get the attention of those who can help further your goal. In this case, we have the Two of Pentacles. It is shown as a treant holding the Two Pentacles in a balanced position, kind of moving them back and forth. The Two of Pentacles is about balance. In this deck, the Two of Pentacles implies choice. We see a tree holding two options in front of it. As you weigh and choose the options of who to seek the attention of, who to curry favor with to further your goals, consider which one you will actually be happy with. Consider not just the short term, yes, they can get me a lot of business quickly, but also, are they the type of person that I want to be in business with? 
you want to plant seeds here that will last a long time, not something that will bloom quick and not produce any fruit. Card three is the next step. So we have four of swords here. Fours are typically a number of stability. They are things of an enduring nature. In this case being reversed, it's try something new. What you've been doing previously, whether it's been having success or not, there's other options here. Innovation is your friend. Don't listen to the old stories that keep telling yourself, oh, this is how it always has been. Try to find a new method or change the way you are looking at this, this situation. Be more confident in selling yourself or your product to those who can help you forward your goal of raising your star, of gaining the attention. Card number four is making the bid. What are you actually going to tell them? How are you going to go about making this change? Here we have the Six of Swords. The imagery in this card is quite evocative. We see a woman with a child bundled at her feet in a boat filled with swords with another woman crying on the shore, reaching after the boat, trying to expressing anguish at the boat's leaving. Who's in the right, who's in the wrong here? We don't really know. We lack context. If you want to be successful, you have to add context to your pitch. Using this card as the example, the woman in the red dress might have just been rescuing her child. That's why she's armed to the teeth and is reclaiming her child from someone who stole, who kidnapped the child. Or the context might be, because you're looking at the color choices of the individuals, that the woman in the red dress is the aggressor. She is the one who is stealing the child away from her mother because both the child and the woman on the shore are in blue dresses, have blue cloth. Context matters. Make sure that you provide sufficient context that people understand what your goal is and how you plan on going about achieving it. Card number five, the dark horse, the what could get you out of left field to disrupt your plan? We have the Hermit. The Hermit embodies the energy of solitude and the wisdom that is gained from keeping your own counsel. In this scenario, because this spread is all about gaining support, take that wisdom that you have learned as you worked on the project by yourself and then share it with those around you. You see in this image, she is holding up a lantern. She can see the path forward. If you do not share what you learned on your own, how is anyone supposed to follow you? Share the light, share the plan, the goal, be as transparent as you can, and you will gather the supporters to your project. You will find the people who are willing to promote you. This concludes the star spread number 50 out of our 1001 spreads and i hope you enjoyed it if you have any additional commentary on any of these cards any disagreements and how i may have interpreted them let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this leave a like if you really enjoyed it go ahead and subscribe that way you'll be notified of any new videos when they come out and that being said until next time walk in the light my friends bye